Hello everybody, let me to present uh, to you a traffic model application in uh, version 2.1 and uh, this is an application for monitoring real-time traffic, uh, browse the historic traffic and last but not least, it's, uh, the main aim of this uh, application is uh, traffic modeling of what-if scenarios. So let me just begin. Uh, talking about the real-time traffic, uh, you can uh, basically see the information about the current traffic in the city. Uh, you can browse, uh, can zoom in, zoom out, etc. It's a typical uh, map-based application. Uh, but we also lock those data, uh, so we can then browse the history of the data from sensors, in this case from magnetic uh, traffic loops. So you can see how the traffic uh, was uh, in the in the past. Uh, such kind of such kind of information is uh, for uh, let's say creating and calibration of uh, traffic models uh, for what if scenarios, uh, which is the uh, thing I'm going to present uh, right now. So I'm switching uh, to the uh, so-called future of future status. We look at the basic traffic model uh, of the city of Pilsen. Again, uh, we can uh, we can check uh, how the traffic behaves uh, during uh, different day hours, and uh, we can go to the future. We can check uh, the difference between weekends, work days. Uh, etc. Uh, so this is browsing the basic traffic model. But uh, we can also uh, create scenarios uh, here. I have some of them prepared. In this case it will be a scenario of uh, creating a new part of a city circuit uh, and calming down this, uh, this street. Uh, so we'll just turn on uh, that scenario so you can see how the situation is now uh, when the traffic can travel here as well so there is some decrease uh, of, uh, of traffic which is not maybe that apparent from uh, this particular view so I can go to some comparison view and check the difference in between the traffic uh, again during different day hours etc as you can see here, uh, it's. Uh, I hope it is straightforward that uh, what is going to red, uh, there is the increase of traffic. What goes to blue, it's uh, the decrease of the traffic. Uh, I can, I can put there uh, different background so it's maybe more visible. I can turn on uh, the uh, numbers of vehicles so we have the. Uh, overall information of uh, how much vehicles are uh, using the different uh, different uh, way uh, yeah and uh, modeling of uh, different types of uh, scenarios this is what the application can be used for and the use case and the later interpre interpretations is of course uh, depending uh, of the user it can be used for managing of uh, road closures it could be used for urban uh, urban planning etc uh, so uh, talking about the uh, urban planning uh, maybe one uh, thing which is uh, good to show is uh, the information about the traffic generators so this is not only the road segments I can alter or add in the model, I can alter or add information about uh, new uh, new construction, for example, in this area, create their new generator and see how the traffic behaves there. Uh, the model is that detailed that uh, I can also model uh, different directions in uh, each uh, junction crossroad so yes uh, that's the software in a nutshell thank you for listening